Hello, hello. Uh, I am going to show a very basic but somewhat advanced tutorial on how to use wall darts. Good old wall darts. One of the best traps in the game. So let's just let's just start off with how far they can go. So off the bat, wall darts can go three tiles. So from the first tile, one, two, three, and then they'll stop right here and they'll hit anything that walks into that. So there's three tiles, that's how far they go out. Pretty basic, three tiles. But since they are at this level right here, you could do this and this, and when the husks are walking into this, you can do wall dynamos or zappo maxes, and the wall darts will still hit them, but dynamos or zappo maxes will hit them at the same time. They're very useful to know their height level. Over here is when it starts to get a little, little advanced. We have a wall dart, and then we have a, a wall with a hole in it. So you might wonder, that's not going to go through, but it will. Those right there, that one, that one, that one, or it might be those two right there. It, it doesn't matter, it'll still go through. It'll go through and hit whatever is right here. Now we're getting into the real overkill. So, you know how you got sploders? Really annoying, sploders are really annoying. So you just put, you just put a wall dart here, and at the very, the wall very opposite of it, you put a sound wall on a hold wall and the wall dart will shoot through the sound wall and damage whatever is in here. It's very, very overkill, but it's very nice to know that you can do that. Over here, we have a wall dart, and this is just showing what it can go through. It can go through this, it can go through this, it can go through that, it can go through this, like I said, it can go through this, it can go through this. So this is too tall for it because it blocks it, so it's not going to go through. If you have a wall like this, or a doored wall, it's not going to go through. You can do windows like this if you want like very specific ones to come through, but overall you'll just want to do the hole right there. Or, you know, like this, or like this. They'll, they'll go right through it. And here is one of the, the best the absolute best ways to use the wall dart. Wall dart and stair, they will go right through this stair right here and they will damage anything that's in front of it. So it'll go through, it'll just phase through the stair like the stair is not even there. It'll hit the husks that are here, here, and then the one tile out over here, it'll, it'll hit like back here. That's the, the basics of how the wall darts function. They shoot these physical damage, just physical damage. So it'll work on any husk type, you don't have to worry. This is the basics, this is the basics. A example on how to use them very efficiently is what I like to call the dart hell, the dart box. This is very much used in Frost Knight. You've probably seen Frost Knight builds like this. So you go around your objective, this works the best one, retrieve the data. Pretend that's our data right there, that's our data. We got the box around it, you know, the standard box, but we have this box out here, right? So we go two out, one right here, one right here, and then two out, and then one right in the center. Smashers are probably going to break this, but you know, you usually have a base. So what you want to do is boom, 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 and then you can put one on the back here. And uh, maybe some right here where you can put like sound walls, and then you have a, a box of death that they're just going to walk into. So the husks spawning, they'll walk, they'll get hit by these most likely, so some of them will be killed by that. But if they aren't killed by that, you'll, they'll probably get killed by this, or they'll come in here and just get like slapped. They'll just get slapped with all these wall darts. But uh, that's it. That's it for the wall darts and how to use the wall darts properly.